Hello again, it's Mr. Pete, your interweb shop teacher, and this is episode number 90. Question portion of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. So I got some interesting items here, but before I get into that, I want to make an announcement here that I now know that I am officially shadow banned or being ignored and deleted by YouTube, which is, of course, Google probably for my conservative comments from time to time, although I don't really talk much about politics. So if you want to actually watch my videos, search every week using the word Tubal Cain. Do a Google search or a YouTube search and you will see my videos come up because you will not be notified because I'm being punished. And that's why the, the I know it sounds crazy, like like I'm a loon talking about this, but I'll have a standalone video also. But I'm going to make that announcement check every week because I during September here I've got over 25 videos in the can ready to release and I would like it if, if some people would watch it, them and make it worth my while. So all right on to the subject at hand here. What are these items? But before I go too much further I have two tubs of unidentified tools for this series, but remember I'm getting pretty discouraged here. Okay, I've got four items for you today, and number four is a little platform that everything's setting on, but let's start here with a very interesting one, number one. Well, my buddy Andy loaned this to me, and he's also the one that loaned me that stare tool in the previous episode. And he's quite an intelligent man, so when we, when we give the answer for this, you know, in a week or so, I have clips of him explaining it, because I can't explain it. Now, no one will know this. I guarantee no one will know this, and this is from Germany. But it's a device that uh, you, this is just a portion of a device that you come very near every day of your life. You walk under one. You think nothing about them, although it might not be this brand. But the mechanism here is so unique in that we have a, a gear here, or a portion of a gear, with two different pitches. And there's, of course, a reason for that. I guess I'm one, I'm one uh, tooth off. But that's how it rotates. Does anyone have any idea what kind of device that these steel parts came out of? Very interesting, very obscure. Watch for the answer. Item 2. Actually, I'm trying to find out information on this. And this is, of course, an arbor for a horizontal milling machine. A very small one. So, I would like to know what... The, what brand of machine? I think I know. But this arbor is about 13 inches long all together. And somebody wrote down one inch, so I believe that the arbor size or the hole size of the cutter is one inch. This is five eighths, and the diameter here is about one and three eighths. And this is a number two Morse taper with the drawbar. Does anyone know what brand of milling machine? this belongs to. And thank you Andy for loaning me th these devices. So you saw this in the last video and I have to return that and then Andy wants this back as well. Item 3 was very common years ago. Does anyone know what this is? Probably, I expect about half of you to know this. So we got a square shank here that is to be held in a brace. This is cast iron. And this plate here with the holes can be loosened and rotated into different positions as needed. Look at the fancy scroll work there. And there's a depth gauge that can be moved up and down. And there's the blade that can be taken out and sharpened and uh, adjusted to different distances into the work into the wood. So what does this do? What is it called and what does it do? And the only markings I can find on it is right here on the casting and that doesn't mean anything to me. If you know, why well, go ahead and put that in 
the comment section below as well. But it's really a beautiful tool, and this will be on Pete Bay. There's going to be a big Pete Bay again this fall. Lots of items, hundreds of items. And last, item four. Quite a few of you will know what this is, but there's a purpose for this particular device. Tell me what that is, but I'm more interested in seeing if people know what this material is and other various uses for it. It's got a handle or a bale right here, so you can move it around. What is this for? These were very, very popular about 1910 or in that era. Quite heavy. And I really don't want to tell you too much about this, but look at how soft this is. That alone is your clue as to what material this is. Alright, hope you enjoyed this short little video. Be sure and watch in a week or two when I divulge the answers to these mystery items. This is Deleted Mr. Pete saying so long for now, and maybe I'll see you again someday if you're able to find my videos. And you can only find them by a weekly search for that word.